Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to download and install the SketchUp Australia layout templates. After buying the SketchUp Australia layout templates, you should receive an email like this. Down here, you'll see a link to download. Go ahead and click that link. Once that file downloads, you'll want to move that file into the location where you want to have your SketchUp templates saved. So, to move this file in a Windows computer, just left click hold and drag it across, and then release. We want to open up this folder. So, notice that it's a zip file. I'm going to right click onto this zip file, open with, and just open with Windows Explorer. From inside here, you can see there's two versions of the layout templates. One for 2017, for those who are using older versions of layout, and 2020, which is the current version of layout. What I'm going to do is double click into the layout 2020 version, and then I'm going to select both of these folders. Right click and go copy. I'm then going to go back to my templates folder, right click and paste. I no longer need this file, but you can save it somewhere if you want to. What you'll see is that the SketchUp Australia templates have been saved into two different folders. The reason for this is because we're providing two different styles. Let's open this one. You'll notice in here there's nine files. That's because there's three sizes, a one, two, and three, and then three formats for each of those sizes. So landscape with a bottom title block, landscape with a side title block, portrait with a bottom title block. And that's repeated across the three other page sizes. You'll notice up here that I've created this folder destination myself. It's nothing special, just whatever you're comfortable with that suits your filing system. The easiest way to open up one of these templates is just to right click and open with the appropriate version of layout. If you only have one version of layout installed, you can just double click. One of the most common questions we're asked is where are all the pages? The pages are found under the pages section under the default tray. If you don't have the pages section, you'll find that under window, pages. For example, in all these templates, we have cover, contents page, etc, etc. Notice the page numbers update automatically to match. Let's go down to this one as an example. This is just an extra section in case you needed to add your own. I'm going to zoom into this bottom right hand corner and we can see that the drawing title is user defined. Let's change that to whatever. And press enter there. Notice the drawing title has changed. If I wanted a new drawing or a new page in this section, all I need to do is click on to the du duplicate selected page button. Notice that's created a new page. It's given it a default page or drawing title, but it has updated the drawing number automatically. So let's give this new name a new name. Now, you'll notice that the project name in the templates that we've provided, for example, project name and client name, are not auto text. They can be converted to auto text if you want, but because they're all on the title block, and they're on a layer, for the title block, and they're on every page, it's not really necessary to have them as auto text. For example, as I change to ground floor dimension, you should see that new project progresses through to all the pages. Let's say, for example, I wanted to change my logo name then. If I wanted to add an image for that, I could go File, Insert, choose a logo, 
open that up, and then place that. I may want to drag that down, and then delete that original. Now, only problem is, if I change to another page, notice that my logos disappear. That's because the logo is on the wrong layer. Notice it's on the SketchUp model layer. Let's move it to the title block on every page layer. Right click, move to layer, title block, every page. Notice now it's on that layer. And so as I move to different pages, it will remain there. Now, if I wanted to start a new project file, new, let's go to my templates. Notice I have all my templates available here. To achieve that, we need to go edit, preferences, go to the folders section, and notice here, under templates, I have that template location saved. Let me remove that now so that you can see how to add it. I click on the plus symbol, navigate to the folder location, and press OK. Notice it's now part of that list. If I go close now, I can go File, New, from my templates. And you'll notice now, all of my templates are available here. For example, let's go with this one. Of course, if I wanted to make changes to this template and then save those changes for future use, I could go File, Save as Template, and create whatever I wanted. Thank <laughs> you.